Hello beautiful people, I have a great recipe for you. If you like banana bread, this is it. Banana bread cookies. They are so good. They're nice and moist and they're not too sweet. You can eat them for breakfast. You can eat them as a great snack, as a like a granola bar after workout. It just it's amazing. So you will need banana, oat flour, just blend it in a blender, some, some oats, don't buy oat flour. I'm using gluten-free oats. So you will need oat flour and also whole oats as well. It's really easy recipe, it's not that really hard. I'll, I'll write the description and the recipe below and all the ingredients and measurements. So this is what you will need. Like I said, just uh, blend your oats and you'll have oat flour. So I'm only making six, these are humongous cookies, humongous cookies. So if you have a bigger family, just double the recipe. So I'm using a one banana, so it's a little bit over than half a cup of mashed bananas. Then a quarter of a cup of peanut butter, quarter of a cup of coconut sugar, half a teaspoon of vanilla, and mix it together. And now you will add your dry ingredients. Oh, I wanted to show you, as I was cooking, Cody was taking a nap. He was tired from watching me. <laughs> so, to the wet ingredients, you will add one cup of whole oats, um, half a cup of oat flour, half a teaspoon of baking powder, and here I'm adding a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. Once you mix this together, then you add about half a cup of walnuts. Again, this is a recipe for six large cookies. So if you don't have an uh, ice cream scooper, uh, the measurement would be a quarter of a cup for each co cookie and you get exactly six cookies. And you'll press, um, you'll press some half uh, walnut pieces on the top. Just make a little indentation and press it in. And you will be baking those cookies on 350 for exactly 15 minutes. And when they come out, because of the baking soda and rising, they kind of pop out. So I kind of push the walnuts uh, inside a little bit before they cool off, just slightly, just a little bit. And just uh, in 10 minutes or so, you'll be eating cookies. And they're so moist, they're so wonderful. I hope you make these, these are just, I just cannot rave enough about these cookies. I hope you like this recipe. If you do, please subscribe and like, and I hope to see you in my next one.